You start? Mm-hmm. Is it going? Mm-hmm. I started. So, first thing you're going to do, you're going to be working out of one of these tubs here. Okay? And this is, we're going to keep all of our ingredients in that and within the tub so we clean less later. Okay? Let's leave it alone. So, your main ingredients, the ice cream, is going to be into one of these little bags here. Do you want to back up there? For the demonstration, correct, I'm going to use orange juice. But each one of your teams, you're going to be using milk. Okay? Why orange juice? Okay. Leave the questions for her. So, uh, first step, you want to get a, a cup of the base. So, we pour the orange, or your base ingredient into this cup. And now we got to get it into the bag here. How about... Andrew, you want to hold this? The bag, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hold it between the cup and the, the bowl. Right there. Oh, right there. Oh, that bowl. Oop. What are you spilling? Now when you're uh, pouring it out, go to the side and do it quickly. And it'll all go in. If you go slow, it'll dribble down the side. Okay, so you got to be confident. Thank you. And then you can just put that on back in there. Yeah. So, now what we need to do is add the, the sugar and then the vanilla. This right here is a tablespoon. That's I'm just going to grab a, a, a <laughs> heap of sugar. I want one and two. Two. Okay. So we need two of these. Let's, guys. So, I know it see like I said before. It seems like we're adding too much sugar when we're adding it to the orange juice. But remember, it's freezing it, so we need more sweetness to counteract the cold. Then we're gonna do the vanilla. Okay, and we're gonna do two table or I'm sorry, two teaspoons of this. Can we please stop in the comments, please, and just watch? One. And two. Now I know it, it probably seems weird that we're putting vanilla into the ice, into the orange juice, mm -hmm. but it's and we're gonna do the same with the milk, and you're gonna make vanilla ice cream. But what it's doing is uh, it's making it like think about music in a chord, uh, where if you have one flat note, it sounds okay, but if you have like three notes that work together, okay, it sounds in harmony and sounds good. Okay, so. That's what we're doing here. We're we're putting the sugar, the the tart, and the vanilla together to make a uh, harmony flavor. Okay. From here, we're all good to go and close it up. You want to get as much air out as you can. So what I like to do is get it on, on the flat surface. Okay. Push the bag down and then close it up. Then we got have a little bit of an air bubble there, but that that'll be fine. You got a big one, you run the risk of popping it later. Then we're going to take some duct tape. Green. And then we'll close it on up. Okay, next we need the, uh, the ice bag. So we're going to reuse these bags here. We're going to take four little cups. Okay, this is a two cup uh, measuring. So we'll take two of these. You guys look fabulous. And then we're going to need salt. Now, what the salt's actually doing is it's allowing the ice to freeze, I'm sorry, to thaw at a lower temperature. Okay, so it's not really dropping the temperature of the ice. Ice is, is at its temperature, but the inside of the ice is less than 32 degrees. So we're letting the water that's getting out of the ice drop below, which is what's actually going to come in contact with the bag. And that'll, that'll freeze our base. 
Okay. Speaking of freezing the base, uh, we want to leave or get it into the ice and not touch it as much as possible. Anytime you touch it and your hands get in there, that's going to raise the temperature and it's going to be less likely to, to cool down to freezing. Okay. So churning, all you got to do, just grab it like I'm doing right here. And we're going to do this for about 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be super vigorous. If anything, the more you shake it and the more you drop it, it's going to add more friction. Well, that what comes with friction? Heat. Okay, so you just want to slowly churn and let it freeze. Okay, and it'll turn into perfectly good ice cream for you. Okay, so at your tables. I want you to designate only one of the four tables to be what you're working on. That way we're only cleaning up one of the four at the end of everything. Oh, one of the four okay, one of the four desks. I call okay. I call ours. Okay. Yeah. So just one table to be doing this here. Okay. Uh, I believe that's it. You can bring it up.